everyone how is it going Jax here and we are back in our video today we're going to be going over the training and tutorial section of league of legends wild rift alpha i know a lot of you guys have a lot of questions about how the game works out how the targeting the ability control and all that cool stuff works out so today we're going to be going over that all in this video so i'm going to leave you guys with the footage so you guys can hear the game and the tutorial and see what do you guys think of it anyways enjoy the video i'm going to have a lot of more videos coming out so make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will catch you guys later in the day. Peace out. Welcome. Hold and drag the movement stick to make your champion good. Please proceed to the next waypoint. Here are some enemy minions. Tap to attack. Tap to learn. Use this attack to attack. Defeat the enemy siege minion. Tap to learn. Use this ability to attack surrounding. Tap to learn. Use the tap to attack. Defeat the enemy minions. Level up. Follow the arrow. Enemy minions are attacking. Defeat them. Tap to learn. Your champions can learn their ultimate ability at level 5. Garen's ult does more damage as the enemy champion's health gets lower. Using your ult properly is the key to victory. New mission. Defeat the enemy champion. <laughs> Your champion is injured. Return to the spawning platform as soon as possible to heal. Using recall can quickly return you to the spawning platform. The fountain there will regenerate your champion's health. Destroy the enemy nexus to achieve victory. Turrets deal massive amounts of damage. Avoid attacking the turret alone. Tap to purchase items. Our minions are moving to attack. Follow them and push forward. New mission. Destroy the enemy turret. New mission. Destroy the enemy nexus. Welcome. First, let's use Ash and select the direction of her ability. Hold down the ability button you want to use. Drag it in the direction of your target. Release the button to use the ability. New mission. Use your ability to defeat the enemy minion. Great! You now know how to aim your abilities. Next, we will learn how to cancel abilities. Follow the directions. Good. You've successfully cancelled the ability. Finally, use your long-ranged ultimate ability to defeat the enemy champion. New mission. Defeat the- Congratulations! You've completed the tutorial. Now it's time to practice in a real match. Victory! Welcome to the Target Lock Tutorial. First, let's review how the attack button works. Tapping the attack button prioritizes attacking an enemy. If there are multiple enemies in range, it prioritizes the one with the lowest percent health. If you want to prioritize attacking minions or turrets, tap the minion or turret button. Let's try You can also manually select a target to lock onto. Drag the attack button to lock on to an enemy target. Target locked. Try locking on to the enemy sir. While locked on to a target, attacks and abilities will automatically prioritize it. Let's try tap. Look, it automatically casts at your locked target. But how do you unlock from a target? You can either drag the attack button to the cancel button, or tap the minion or turret button to force a target swap. Let's try it out. Target unlocked. Now, let's try it in a real battle. Help the ally Garen defeat the enemy Trindamir and Soraka. Keep 
Keep going. Challenge completed. Victory! Welcome. Here you'll learn tapping your attack button will prioritize enemy champions within range. Use the minion button to attack enemy minions. New mission. Defeat the enemy minions. Good. You now know how to use the minion button. Use the turret button to prioritize enemy structures. New mission. Destroy the enemy turret. Congratulations! You've completed the tutorial. Now it's time to practice in a real match. Victory! Welcome. Here you'll learn to use the portrait. Next, let's learn how to lock on to enemy targets. Tap on the enemy champion's Great. You've successfully locked on to the enemy champion. Now your attacks will target the champion you've locked on to. Now your abilities will target the champion you've locked onto. Next, let's learn to cancel the lock-on. Tap on the locked good. You've successfully canceled the lock-on. Now, defeat Ash using the portrait lock feature. Congratulations! You've completed the tutorial. Now it's time to practice in a real match. Welcome. Here you'll learn about turrets. Turrets will prioritize the first enemy that enters their attack range. You will take heavy damage if you attack a turret by yourself. Let minions take damage for you. Your minions are taking the turret's fire. Now is the time to attack. When you go near a turret, you will see one of three colored circles on the ground. The colors indicate how the turret will behave. Green. The turret is attacking other units. You won't be attacked if you enter its range. Yellow. The turret is not attacking any units. You will be attacked if you enter its range. Red. You are currently being attacked by the turret. New mission. An enemy champion is coming to protect the turret. Turrets will protect champions on their team. Attacking enemy champions within range of their turret will cause the turret to attack you. New mission. Defeat the enemy, Master Yi. Excellent. Let's keep going and destroy the enemy turret. Congratulations. You've completed the tutorial. Now it's time to practice in a real match. you'll learn about monsters and the jungle. First, let's learn about the buff monsters. The blue sentinel and the red brambleback. The blue sentinel is commonly called the blue buff. After defeating the sentinel, champions will gain a temporary buff that adds mana and health regeneration. The red brambleback is commonly called the red buff. After defeating the brambleback, Champions will gain a temporary buff that adds true damage and slow to their attacks. Follow the arrows on the ground and attack the blue sentinel. Using smite will let you slay jungle monsters more efficiently. Well done! You've successfully defeated the Blue Sentinel and gained the Crest of Insight buff. Next, follow the arrows and attack the Red Brambleback.
successfully defeated the Red Brambleback and gained the Crest of Cinder's buff. Next, let's learn about the Rift Scuttler. Rift Scuttlers will spawn after the game begins, one in each half of the river. They will respawn shortly after being defeated. After a Rift Scuttler is defeated, it spawns a Speed Shrine in the river. The Shrine grants an Area of Effect Movement Speed buff and Vision to allies. Follow the arrows and attack the Rift Scuttler. Nice job. Let's learn about Elemental Drakes next. Elemental Drakes are commonly called Dragons. Defeating an Elemental Drake grants your team a permanent buff that lasts until the end of the match. There are four types of Elemental Drake, and they spawn in a random order. After a Drake is defeated, Drakes of the same element will not spawn again. The marking on the Dragon Pit will show you what type of Drake will spawn next. New mission. Defeat the Elemental Drake. Congratulations! You've completed the tutorial. Now it's time to practice in a real match. Victory! Welcome! Here you'll learn about Baron Nasher. Watch and learn more about Baron Nasher. Baron Nasher is commonly called Baron. He'll spawn late during the game, and respawn after he is killed. Baron Nasher has high attack and defense. You'll need a team to defeat him. Defeating Baron will grant the Hand of Baron buff to your team. This buff enhances nearby allied minions, reduces recall time, and increases your damage. Follow the arrows on the ground to meet your team at Baron Nasher's location. New mission. Help your team defeat Baron Nasher. You've defeated Baron Nasher and gained the buff. Hand of Baron. Now follow the arrows on the ground into the mid lane to buff your minions. Your minions have been buffed. Go attack the enemy turrets. Congratulations! You've completed the tutorial. Now it's time to practice in a real match. Victory! Welcome! Here you'll learn of- In this match, you will start the game in the top right corner of the map. For your convenience, your point of view will automatically rotate. Remember, you can find the Elemental Drake's location using the Elemental Drake symbol on the minimap. An Elemental Drake will spawn here a few minutes into the game. Remember this location. The lane closest to the Elemental Drake is called the Dragon Lane. Follow the arrows on the ground and move to the Dragon Lane outer turret.
Watch out. An enemy champion is at the outer turret. New mission. Defeat the enemy champion. First gone. Enemy slain. Our jumper is attacking the elemental drake. Go help. Go to the Elemental Drake spawn point and help the jungler to the new mission. Help your team defeat the Elemental Drake. Drake. Congratulations, you've completed the tutorial. Now it's time to practice in a real match. Victory!